Blessed is our God, always now and ever unto the age of the ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of truth, Lord, everywhere present, fill us all things, treasury of good things, and giver of life, come and dwell in us, and cleanse us of all impurity, and save our souls, everyone. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blotted our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord, of hosts, my soul long and fainted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God, for the sparrow hath found herself a house in the throne of the for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. <coughs> Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold, and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad. <coughs> Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people, to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely ninth, then the fear of Mrs. Salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth has sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness in our land, shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. 
Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon me. <coughs> Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come, and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not sent thee before them. But thou, O Lord my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and true. Look upon me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me be whole and be put to shame, for thou, O Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me be whole and be put to shame, for thou, O Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Great is the wonder of faith, the seven holy youths abode in the cave, is in a royal chamber, and died without falling into corruption. And after much time they arose, as from sleep, as an assurance of the resurrection of all men. Through their supplications, O Christ God, have mercy on us both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou, for our sake, was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion. O good one, and didst despoil death by death, and as God didst reveal the resurrection. Disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the Theotokos who gave thee birth, who intercedeth for us, and do thou, our Savior, save a despairing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant. And cause not thy mercy to depart from us, for Abraham's sake thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. <coughs> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord. Blot out our sins, O Master. Pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Meet us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Spurning the corrupt things of this world and accepting gifts of incorruption, though they died, yet they did they remain untouched by corruption. Wherefore they arose after many years, burying all the unbelief of the wicked. O ye faithful, praising them today in laudation. Let us him, Christ. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 or have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loves the righteousness, mercy on sinners, <clears throat> who calls to all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. 
Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us above with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption gave us birth to God, the Word, the very Theotokos, the we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, wherein thou didst hang upon the life giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners, and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven, for we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. And we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man, we may be cried with the new and live for thee, our master and benefactor. And that thus, by following thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, where it is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send up glory with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and loving life creating spirit. Now, never and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, and now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our <coughs> King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, Thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty is Thou put on, who coverest Thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain. Who supported his chambers in the waters, who appointed the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle, upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge, from the midst of their rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. Yet pray the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor, and to the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. <clears throat> when thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. 
Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth is going down. Thou appointedst the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, let us say to the holy churches of God in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for the no faith, reverence and the fear of God into herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch Kirill, for the Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Alari, and first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their <coughs> salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Alpha, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, and most blessed, glorious Lady, the Otoko, Son of our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, Lord, I have cried unto thee, hearken unto me. To me, attend to the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee. I can I to thee, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. I can I to thee, O Lord. 
before my mouth, an adorable enclosure round about my lips. Incline up my heart into words of evil to make excuse of excuses and sins of men that work iniquity, and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasure. Swallowed up near by the rock of their judges in. They shall hear my words, for they be sweetened. As a clod of earth is broken upon the earth, so have their bones been scattered nigh into Hades. For unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, are mine eyes. In thee of I hope, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinner shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried, with my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication, my affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my paths. In this way wherein I have walked, they did for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand, and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Light hath failed me, and there was none that watched out for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths of I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. <clears throat> if thou shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. Come, let us go up with Jesus, who ascended the holy mountain, and there let us hear the voice of the living God. The all unoriginated Father, which through the divine spirit beareth witness by the cloud to his true sonship and illumined in mind, let us gaze upon light of in For thy name's sake have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. Come, let us form a chorus beforehand. Let us purify ourselves and faithfully prepare for divine entry into the dwelling place of the transcendent God. And let us receive the glory which the four chosen apostles were about saved to be on this day, on Mount Tabor. From the morning watch until the night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Come and having transformed ourselves with a more exalted transformation, let us prepare ourselves unto the morrow to ascend the holy mountain of God, beholding the glory of Christ which shineth forth immutably more brightly than the sun, and illumined with the light of the Trinity. Let us glorify his condescension therein. Is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Died in the blood of thy flesh, O glorious one. Thou didst clothe thyself in the purple robe of divine grace, and didst place upon thy head the crown of life incorruptible. And bearing the trophy of the cross in thy right hand, as a scepter almost my martyr, thou readest with Christ ever rejoicing. O praise the Lord, all ye nations. 
the peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian, aiming to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. All ye for remembrance, O most holy, most pure, <clears throat> most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and of the Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life into Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Lord, good God, art thou the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Be unto all and to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To
God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, again we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiest patriarch, the real, for our Lord, the very most reverend, metropolitan <coughs> glory, and first thy ark, the Russian church abroad, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and our forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. More than all others, we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master. And if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy, as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus. Brought even pain, we pray thee quickly, hearken, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That thou mightest look thou with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that he will bless the building of our new church, and his foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh, Christ our God, who look us on the earth and make us to tremble, deliver from the dreadful threat of earthquake, the Haitian land, and all who with faith and piety dwell therein, and send down upon them thy rich mercies, and save them through the prayers of the Theotokos, we pray thee, quickly hearken and graciously have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present who await to thee great and abundant mercy. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For our merciful God, our child, the lover of mankind, and unto thee we set up glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father, he that is, is blessed, Christ our God, how is now and ever unto the age of salvation. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. O most holy tales, O God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the eternally magnified. Glory to the O Christ, God our hope, glory to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, one now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, the true God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy, glorious, and all praised apostles, of the holy, great martyr, and healer, Fontalaman, of the holy martyr, Eusignius, 
of the Holy Righteous, known of the Mother of St. Gregor the Theologian, of our Venerable Father John of Neams, the host of light, of the Holy Martyr Oswald, King of Northumbria, mm-hmm. of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind.
Jesus, the all-blessed fruit. 